Welcome back. Well, we're still talking a little football. We had a college team <laughs> that was still going, like I always say every week. They are our national powerhouse they right really here in are. our backyard. I'm talking about the Wesley Wolverines. Let's talk about the remarkable season that they've had. You said it, Joe Callahan, 5,063 yards this year alone, and they were taking on Mount Union, and it, you know, a team that they have struggled to get by this year. And obviously, when you have a team like that that you've been struggling and struggling against, you know, it's kind of like a mental thing on you on you at that point. You know what I mean? But Wesley took the trip to Alliance, Ohio, once again to take on Mount Union, and unfortunately, they came up short again. The score, 58 to, or the score was 58 to 35. That was a great game Wesley had. They trailed by 21 in the first quarter. They could not. They could have laid down, but all credit to the Wolverines for sticking this one out. They were able to get the lead down to 14 in the fourth but it was not enough. Mount Union ends their year for yes. a third consecutive season. I was going to say, I know, before when we found out that they were going to play Mount Union last week, when we found out that it was like, okay, can they get the win? And you guys are telling me, honestly, Mount Union is just <laughs> they another are level. Animal. They're they another are level. Animal. So as much as, you know, as much as you would want them to get the win, obviously for the Wolverines, they want to keep going. And for Coach Dras and his guys, I mean, they had a great season. A few bumps along the way, but to be able to get this far once again, I mean, I know they have to be disappointed, of course, but at the same time with Mount Union, it's like there's just something there's just something there that Wesley can't get past. And again, today, turnovers. I saw that they had three turnovers in the first half, so they, uh, unfortunate. And what we're talking about now is a new leaf turning for Wesley. Right. A brand totally. new a brand new uh, team, everything next year. We'll have to see how that goes. Fresh back into the studio. My man Spencer Tillis is over there. He just came from that Smyrna game. He's got all your action right now. We're going to kick it over to you, Spencer. I appreciate it, Trey. You're absolutely right. I mean, we had big plans of starting this game off with the Smyrna, but when it goes to OT, when you have a game as good as this, sometimes you got to just do that last minute editing in the back. And it was a game that if you saw it, you're going to remember it for years and years to come. The Eagles were matched up against the Sallies. The second time these two have met up this year was Silesianum taking a shootout the first time around. And it would be another great battle today. Sally strike first though, showing off right here off a turnover. The touchdown pass from 15 yards out is good for six, but the Eagles come firing right back. One of the craziest plays I've seen. Nolan Henderson fakes the dive. Looks like he's going to hand it off to Will Knight then throws to the outside. That's good for a touchdown. Sally's turn. The running game gets going. A huge hole off the right side. Bounces it to the outside. Dives for the pylon and he puts his set team back out in front. A few possessions later, the Sallies are going to go ahead and go back out and add another touchdown. Play action. The big fellow rumbling and bumbling downfield. That's good for six more. And that adjustment, with, what an adjustment right there by the big fellow. Smyrna now trying to get aggressive. Goes for it on fourth down, but they get hit in the backfield. Come up short. They actually had that happen to them four times on the day, and it looked like it was going to get a lot worse for the Eagles. Just 10 seconds left in the half, but check out that play. The DB jumps the route and gets the interception. Huge play right there. Momentum in favor of Smyrna in half. And then this happened. Will Knight just gets absolutely destroyed right there on the halfback pass. He would have to leave momentarily. Henderson, though, would have his back, as you may recall, that Knight had his in the semifinals. Beautiful pump action, gets the safety to jump, goes for the home run right there, and they are right back in this game. 81 yards later, the Eagles add six more points to that board. Sally's turn, though, and this very well should have been on the plays of the year as well. Quarterback buys time, floats it to the back of the end zone for one of the best catches I have seen all year long. Sally's stretch their lead back out to 12 right there. After Smyrna returned the kickoff, Henderson and Knight do it one more time. He's going to go ahead and go to the halfback pass, and Knight finds his man downfield, and they're going to run that thing all the way down to the five-yard line with about four minutes remaining in the game. Very next possession, it's going to be a pitch out to Knight. He's going to break the plane right there in the sweep, and we are tied up, and we are heading to overtime. Now, the Sallies would win the flip. They elected to defend first, which meant the Eagles would have to try and score. Facing third and goal, Henderson making a huge play, the completion all the way down to the one yard line. That set up the opportunity for this right here. Will Knight gets in the Wildcat formation, breaks the plane, and all of a sudden the Eagles are out in front by six. Now it's the Sally's turn. They have their opportunity facing fourth and goal from the one yard line, but the Gatorade player of the year gets stuffed in the backfield. Incredibly, how about that? Smyrna claims their first ever state title as they top the Sallies in a game that people will not soon forget. 33 to 26, the final in that one. And like I said, it was an incredible game. 
And the best part about this team is they got a lot more future. And I'm going to toss things back over to the desk where they're going to have a chance to kind of talk about that future for one second. All right. Well, I know that you want to know about what just happened there. Obviously, the best part about the Eagles winning is that they are going to be back at it for round Loaded. two <laughs> next season because they are absolutely stacked. They are such a young team this year. All season long, Nolan Henderson led the way for his team, and he is only a junior. Now, last week he did get injured, but he came back this week, and he will be back again for his senior season. But then there's this kid wow. right here. He is just a sophomore. His name is Will Knight. He is the best high school football player that I've ever seen. He put this team on his back literally and carried them not just this season, but to that state title today. And you know what? They are going to be coming back for it next year. Yeah, I think they are. I have no opportunity. I've, we talked to Coach Judy earlier this year. Right. He said there's no reason why they couldn't win a state championship totally. this year. And I think the same thing applies next year. They're going to have that target on their back for the first hand open title since 2008. What That's a great awesome. feat. Congratulations to the Smyrna Eagles. Awesome. All right. Well, that is all the time that we have for you today. But thank you so much for tuning in tonight. That's right. Thank you for watching. Have a great night.